Fortnite has created many viral memes throughout the years, but not many people know the tragic story behind some of the creators who made them. From becoming homeless to fighting for the life in the ICU, today we're going to take a look at what happened to some of Fortnite's biggest memes. Let's first start with the extremely viral chug jug with you meme and how the creator was just inches from losing their life. The man behind the song goes by the name Leviathan and before blowing up on the internet he was just an ordinary kid. Just like many people out there, he wanted to become a YouTuber someday. At first, he tried following in the footsteps of some other big YouTubers like Markiplier or PewDiePie in the hopes that gaming would take him there. But little did he know, it wouldn't be his passion for gaming, but instead music that would blow him up. Not long after starting his channel, he would upload a music video that would go on to surpass over 500,000 views in a short amount of time. But today, that video is not currently available. This was massive for him. He realized that making music was very enjoyable and it had the potential to get really good views, just like he always wanted. And little did he know that soon his life was about to change forever. However, this would also bring some drama. Back in September of 2018, a different creator by the name of CM Skits would upload a video titled Let's Play Fortnite, which would end up being a parody of the song American Boy by Estelle would actually feature some of the same lyrics from the Chug Jug With You song that we all know today. This original video would start going viral on Instagram, and quickly, Leviathan noticed. And eventually, he would turn that song into the meme parody that we all know now. This new version had the same chorus as the original video, but added in some new lyrics and verses in order to make it original. And interestingly enough, when it first released, CM Skits was completely fine with how he used some of his lyrics. However, as time went on, it seemed like he regretted not asking for for more credit, and not long after, CM would end up taking down all of his old videos, which was very strange. Now, all of what I just mentioned happened in 2018, and back then, the song was still extremely popular. But you may be wondering, how exactly did it blow up even more years after releasing? Well, there's one short answer to this, and that's TikTok. In the beginning of 2021, a random creator on the app decided to make a meme video, and he used the song in it, which gained hundreds of thousands of views in just a few weeks. And from then on, it was history. People started making videos dancing to it, and eventually this would start a trend, getting larger and larger creators to use the song in their videos. Chug Jug With You was now officially viral, getting celebrities to comment about it, and videos on it getting millions of views just because of the meme. By the way, if you're enjoying the video, make sure to check that you're subscribed because only 6% of you watching actually are. In fact, it was so massive that he was in talks with Atlantic Records about a possible deal which would ultimately not happen. But even without this record deal, the video today stands at almost 40 million views on YouTube and over 27 million streams on Spotify. After this, Leviathan would go on to create a few more parody songs, which would pull some pretty good views, but nothing like Chug Jug With You. But eventually, he would achieve his childhood dream of reaching over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. To capitalize off of the success, he would make a very interesting switch in content, which would be explained in his The Future of Chug Jug video. He mentioned how he wanted to go back to making gaming videos, more specifically Minecraft ones. And that's exactly what he would do, featuring some other big Minecraft YouTubers in them. Now, these videos did very well, considering it was not at all related to how he blew up in the first place. But after only a few streams on Twitch, in two Minecraft videos, he would stop making gaming content pretty much altogether. And after this, uploads would become scarce. But this inconsistency wasn't just random. On June 16th, 2022, he announced that he had been hospitalized due to heart issues. We'd go into more detail on what happened in his Fortnite Kid Sings Chug Jug With You at Coachella video. In it, he would explain how during his time at Coachella, after every around 10 minutes or so, it felt like he couldn't breathe and he would pretty much have to completely stop whatever he was doing, just because of how sick he felt. And soon after, he would find out all this was happening because he was dying. It got so bad that he had to be rushed to the hospital in order to find out what was happening to him. Eventually, he would find out that he had essentially been having something that was extremely close to a heart attack for that entire day. In fact, it was actually worse than most heart attacks. Keep in mind, this was all happening while he was only 16. After this, we would understandably see Leviathan post less on social media. But even having to deal with these heart issues, he still pushed through, planning big things. For example, using the money he made off of the meme, he was able to open up his very own diner in his town. A few years ago, he also mentioned how he was in talks with the original artist of his two most viral parodies, that being Breakout and Estelle, to possibly hop on a remix of the parody song, but that still hasn't happened yet. 
Going back to his heart issues, the last time he would publicly talk about it was this tweet in August of 2022. But since then, there's been no updates. However, things are still looking very good for him, recently opening up that diner, and he also got the chance to perform his music at the most recent stream rewards. So overall, it seems like he's still doing good in life, and all we can really do is wait to see what the future has in store for Leviathan. Now, it's very hard to name a Fortnite meme larger than Chojo with you until you remember the orange shirt kid. But most people don't actually know the tragic story of what happened after the fame. The orange shirt kid, also known as Cole, started off on TikTok in early 2016. And just like pretty much every other kid, he would just post whatever he was into at the time. After making videos online for a while, he would eventually disappear off of social media. It's unknown when he actually returned, but we can guess it was somewhere around early 2018 because later on in March of that year, Year, the hashtag boogie down challenge would be officially announced by Fortnite. Everyone was extremely excited about this challenge. Contestants would create an original dance and submit it online in order to win some small prizes. But there was one prize that caught the attention of everyone. Whoever ended up winning this challenge would get their own unique dance put into the game, submitting them in it forever. As expected, there were many cringy dances submitted online, but there was just one that everybody couldn't get enough of. On March 30th, 2018, a Twitter user by the name of Kid underscore Fortnite 12 posted his submission of him dancing in his bedroom. Unfortunately, this account would get suspended down the road, but at the time, it started blowing up, gaining almost 50,000 likes. But he wouldn't truly go viral until a few weeks later when PewDiePie reacted to the video on his channel. But once again down the road, this video would also get deleted. However, it gained millions of views beforehand. On top of that, Rice Gum, back when he was in his prime, also made a video reacting to it. The orange shirt kid was now having countless memes created about him. Everybody wanted to see him win this challenge, and by far, he was the favorite. But in the end, when the results were announced, everyone was shocked and disappointed to see that he wouldn't even make the top 20. Outcry began in the community, with thousands of Reddit posts, YouTube videos, tweets, and even petitions being started. Everybody wanted justice for the orange shirt kid. And eventually, Epic Games would answer. On May 1st of 2018, Fortnite would release Season 4. Everybody was excited and flocked to see what the Battle Pass had in store. And to their surprise, at tier 26 of the Battle Pass was an emote titled Orange Justice, which would be Cole's dance. Justice had finally come, but soon the hate would follow. At first, he, most likely his parents, would try to capitalize off of this situation by selling Orange Justice merch, which obviously many people didn't like. But soon the dance itself was about to get exposed. A video would be posted by a YouTuber named Lame titled The Sad Truth About the Orange Justice Dance. In the video, he would show the insanely close similarities between the Orange Justice and another massive creator, Roy Purdy's dance, which came out years before. And saying for yourself, it's hard to see a difference. But at the end of the day, he was just a little kid, so he probably didn't even know what he was doing. Regardless, this would stack even more hate onto what he was already receiving. And like I just said, he was only a little kid. To make things even worse, his Twitter and YouTube account would end up being hacked, then deleted off of the internet. After his attempts to get these accounts back failed, this would cause Cole to leave the internet once again, but this time for good. Nobody heard anything about him for the next few months, until January of 2019, where he would once again make headlines all over the news. However, it wasn't for anything good. The Orange Shirts Kid's mom thought it would be a good idea to sue Epic Games after his dance was put into the game, which again left a bad taste in everyone's mouth. But long story short, this lawsuit was never actually real and just an idea, meaning nothing legally ever happened with it and all the hate was for nothing. Years would go by and everybody completely forgot about it. About him. However, he eventually would be found again. And big shout out to YouTuber Justicle for this information. Cole is now in high school and he has completely left Fortnite and social media behind. He does still play some video games with his friends and is overall just a normal kid, trying out some new hobbies like playing guitar and lifting weights. Nowadays, his dream job is to become a civil lawyer. However, he did say that being a famous musician is still something he'd like to do, so who knows, maybe we'll see a massive comeback one day. But for now, we'll just have to wait and see. Now, these first two creators ended up having a pretty wholesome outcome and didn't really have to go through much adversity in the end. But the same can't be said for our last creator of this video, the man behind the $19 Fortnite card meme. This story starts off with a TikToker by the name of Mr. Block U. Okay, $19 Fortnite card. 
Who wants it? He wouldn't create his TikTok account until early 2020 when he saw his daughter was on the app. And since the pandemic had just hit, he thought, why not just try it out? But at first, his intents weren't so good. He would actually use the app in order to sell drugs. Eventually, he would stop, but it's not known how long he did this for. Mr. Block U continued to post random videos for the next few months until January of 2021 when his life would change forever. This month, he would post the original $19 Fortnite card meme. He never expected this to blow up like it did. In fact, at the time, he didn't even know what a meme was. Regardless, it didn't take long for this sound to spread like wildfire and everybody started using it. After seeing how much attention this video was getting, he continued to post more just like it. But with all the popularity also came a lot of hate. In pretty much all of his videos, he would reference the trolls in the comments and stated how he was going to block them. This ended up being such a big part of his fame that he actually changed his name, which was originally I'm So Fate, to Mr. Block You. He continued to post these videos, showcasing a troll's comment, just like this one that would go viral as well. No more Fortnite! No more cards! No more $19 cards! No more trolls! Everything was looking great for him. He turned this hate and it into something positive, gaining millions of views and likes. Plus, he was starting to diversify some of his content more. This quick rise to fame was impressive, but little did he know that the fall was just as fast. At first, TikTok would start randomly taking down some of his videos, just like the original $19 card meme. And not long after, he would start posting more personal videos like stuff on his relationships, asking people to help him find a job, and even tweeting out a GoFundMe link explaining how he was now homeless. It would later come out that he thought his wife was having an affair, so he decided to leave the home and instead moved in with a close friend for the next couple months. Even though it seemed like he was at rock bottom, he still tried to stay positive in his TikToks. But if things couldn't get worse, his health would start to deteriorate too, with him having a seizure. Eventually, Mr. Block U was able to raise enough money from fans donating to his cash apps in order to get him a hotel and some food for the next few days. During those last few months, he wasn't able to talk to or see his kids, which obviously was extremely hard on him. But with that money, he was finally able to see them again, which boosted his morale. And soon, a miracle would happen, but it would also be a curse. An old friend of his who owns a home decided to hop on Facebook for the first time, and from there found Mr. Block U's situation. Since as a kid, Block U helped him out a lot, he decided it was now time to return the favor. His life was looking up again, and on top of that, he decided to stop using marijuana and go drug free. But soon, his life was about to flip upside down again. The friend that helped him out to find shelter would eventually leave a note telling him that he had a month to move out. Now, this was a good amount of time to look for some options. However, that friend would try to make him leave only a few days after giving him the note. They would get into many heated altercations, so eventually he would leave and move in with his brother. Things were looking bad, and on top of everything he had been going through, he was still unable to find a job even after searching for over eight months. But once more, he was about to have a miracle happen. Two years ago, Jessica made a video on his situation, and that video would blow up, gaining over 2.7 million views. Because of this, his GoFundMe, TikTok, and Cash App would get hundreds of donations. Once again though, this would bring some hate, with a bunch of people wondering if he was even searching for a job anymore since it had been so long. And what if he was just using everybody for this money? In fact, it got so bad that he was contemplating doing something that I can't mention on YouTube. But he wouldn't let this stop him. We've seen time and time again, even at rock bottom, he pushed through it, and it was all about to pay off. He was able to find a decent part-time job and started to have a better relationship with his wife so he could see his kids more. Now, all this happened over a year ago, so what happened since then? Well, a lot, and most of it has been extremely good. As expected, he's continued to post pretty much every single day, but now his life is looking better than ever. For one, he was able to get a full-time job at Car Grill and eventually was able to get himself an apartment. Now, I mentioned earlier how he stopped smoking and this was a huge deal for him, regularly posting how many days he had been sober for. Unfortunately for him, he did start smoking again, however, he does have plans to stop. But this time, he's not going to document it online. On top of all this, his relationship with his family looks stronger than ever, with one day the dreams of opening up his own food truck, which he said he might start a GoFundMe for to help get it running. So just like the rest of these creators, for now, all we can really do is wish him good luck in the future. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Also, check out my new Fortnite map, Tile Wars. It's extremely fun, and I know for a fact you'll all enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your days. Peace out.